Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about the progress of my project pen that started on, on March this year, so it was one month ago. And I didn't make any intro video on YouTube. I just posted on my blog, I will link it down below. But uh, in this video, while I walk you through the progress of each product, I will tell you about the starting point of them. So I have 10 products in total and there's no um, palette in that. And I think I will do some pen that palette challenge and I will post it in a separate video to be easier to track on it. The first product that I have is the Dior bronzer. When I start last month, it had a big dip on it already. And this month, it didn't have any progress on this because I didn't use it much. So I will try to use it uh, next month. And you can see there's the dip right in the E and N letter. I will try to use it this month. The second product is the Shiseido Translucent Powder. Uh, this one also had a big dip in it. And you can see the pen showing through. And for this one, I used it every day. But still, I didn't hit pen on it. It only has 7 gram in this, and I don't know why. I, I keep using using it, and I just can never finish it. I hope this month I can at least hit pen on it. The next product is um, Physician Formula Bronze Booster. When I started to do the project pen last month, this uh, we can still see the imprint really clear. But uh, this month I had a big dip on this side, so as you can see the imprint has faded a little bit. And um, this month I will try to use it more to completely erase the imprint in this side. This one has uh, 12 grams in powder, so it's even bigger than this one, than the Shiseido powder. So I just hope to uh, erase all the imprint first. Because to hit pen on this is quite impossible. Uh, why I have another bronzer to hit pen on? The fourth product is Benefit Browsing. This one I use constantly for I think six months already, every day, and I still didn't hit pen on it. I don't know why. It it seems like it never die. In this side, it has really deep dip on this, and still it didn't. I didn't hit pen. And I wonder how deep is the pen, because this one, I thought that I can hit pen on it like a few few months ago already, but still, it never dies. And uh, in this side, it had a dip also, not quite strong, so I will try to use more of this powder next month, and I hope next month I can hit pen on this one. Fifth product is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. Uh, it's a good foundation, but I bought the wrong color and the wrong undertone for me. It's too pink on my skin, so I just hope to use it up. This one is a good foundation. I have full review on my blog, I will link it down below, but I just want it to be gone because obviously the wrong color is... So to use it up, I just mix this with uh, the Benefit Hula Dew the Hula Bronzer. It's a darkened foundation and also uh, give it a little bit of orange tint on it so it suits my skin better. When I started the project pen, the foundation came to the letter E and now I wanted to come to the letter K, like in the middle of letter K or to the letter A for next month, for this month. April, so I will try to use it um, this month. Hopefully, I can use it more because uh, I just found a way to use it to mix with the other bronzer. The next product is uh, the Lancome Rouge in Love. So for this lipstick, when I started the project pan, I tracked the length of it, so it was like this, and now it is like this only. So I use it like halfway already and I think this one just only five more uses and it will be gone. So I hope next month we will not see this anymore. Next product is the Rimmel Kate lipstick in 105. I tracked this one also uh, before the length is quite long like this and now it's like this. 
so it's like it's shorter a little bit now it come to here last month i didn't use it much this month i hope i can use it more for it to be shortened dramatically that i can see the change in this graph and after the video i will mark it the tracking of all the lipstick oh the next lipstick i have but i cannot mark it is the ysl vernis à lèvres so this one i cannot track it actually because um the cream didn't calm down even i use it how much i use it the cream just stay there and stick to the packaging so i cannot track i just know when i finish it that's it but this month i didn't use it much i hope that next month i can use it more the other lip product i have is the bookshaw Mm, lip velvet this one also i cannot track it because all the cream stick to the packaging but i just know when it's gone and this one i use it quite a lot this month and i hope that i can use it more the last product that i have for the project pen is the l'oréal gel eyeliner so when i started the project pen i didn't hit pen on this product and i thought this one is gonna be like the hardest one to use up but actually this is the first thing that I hit pen this one has like a small pen showing through so I hope that this month the pen will be bigger 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 maybe I can finish it after like four or three months for everyday use I hope so so that is the progress of my project pen with uh, 10 items and I think that I will also start the uh, pen that palette challenge and i hope that this month i can hit pen on at least one more item and especially this uh, shiseido powder because i can see the pen showing through for a few months already but still it, it never dies and hope you like this video and thank you for watching bye